Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video or another live stream. Um, hope you all are doing well. Hope you guys can hear me. Things are going really good on my side, or at least I hope it's gonna go good. So tonight we are gonna be doing a live illustration. Hope you guys enjoy it. As you guys can see, I am ripping <laughs> the Mike's Illust because we are doing the illustrations this evening. So yeah, guys, uh, let's get into it. So as you guys can see over here, I have my illustrator screen opened up. Hopefully, um, the stream is going good. Um, I have a, I am having a couple of network issues on my side just because of like the weather and things. So yeah, I'm trying my best on my side, guys. But yeah, I'm super excited to pull the picture into this live stream or onto the screen now that we are gonna do. So we're actually doing Keegan's um, Keegan Schuler's Toyota. So. It's a shoot that I did. If you guys want to check out the pictures and videos, it's all on my on my YouTube and my Facebook page. Um, yeah, guys, that's this is something new for me. So yeah, let me just pull this in quick. So so this is the call that we're gonna be doing. Just get this thing sized up correctly over here. So yeah guys what you what i try and do is obviously fill out the artboard so that everything works well so that it will actually look really nice on this thing so that's what i try and do i always try and fill it out make it as big as possible so this is usually my starting point for when i'm doing illustrations and things so this is how i usually start in I end up dropping the opacity so that when I do start my line work, I can actually see my line work and things like that. So this is just where I start, how I start. Yeah, makes the process a lot easier. So you don't have to drop the opacity like too far down. I'm not going to do this like a tutorial style. If you guys want to see a tutorial style, let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely, I'll definitely consider doing a tutorial for you guys on how I do it, how I set everything up and then from we'll get the insight right now into what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and yeah, just things like that. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Cassie is not picking up any, any desktop audio. Let me just fix that quick. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear the music now. I can't hear the music to save my life. <laughs> Uh, let's see what's happening. Yo, Lee, for joining the live. Um, appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, my network is fluctuating quite a bit. Um, it's not at the recommended like speed, so unfortunately there will be some hiccups in the live. But hopefully you guys can hear the audio. You guys can hear me, and things are going well. Um, but yeah, let's continue from here. So like I said, I am using this Wacom drawing pad. Um, it's a very basic one. I think it's like the entry level one. So that's usually where I start. I will fold another layer on top of that. This will be my line, um, my line work layer. So this will also be duplicated. But as I go on, you guys will see why I duplicate it. So now we need to bold our pen. So you usually come here to the pen and stuff. I'm using that thing. So yeah, usually come here to the pins. Let's see, let's go. Why is it not giving me that option? Hey, technical difficulty here. Uh, by the looks of things. <laughs> not sure what's going on. Let me just, just figure out what the hell's going on here. It should give me some things. No. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. This is this thing now. This is interfering here. Hey, things never go easy. Uh, okay, wait. Let me just sort this out quick. Mm. See, so, yeah, guys, I do apologize for the. <laughs> <laughs> for the technical difficulties here on my side um <laughs> if 
If only it was a, a, a sashi mount Yusuf. <laughs> uh, let's see what can what's going on here. Just want to open up Illustrator again. It's it's never easy. It's never as easy as you would want it to be. Things always seem to complicate and make my life a bit harder. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Um, thank you for everyone watching the stream right now, for joining me, for going on this journey with me. <laughs> Hopefully, it's it's entertaining. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it, and it's it's actually worthwhile. Let's see what's going on here with this medical. Um. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just quickly opening up Illustrator again, making sure that everything is working fine. It was working fine earlier, but now obviously when trying to live stream, it's deciding to just make my life all year. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, I am full that I have people watching, I have people um, getting in the chats, joining, and yeah, hopefully my my faces. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are all happy with seeing my face and stuff. <laughs> Not sick yet. Um, I do apologize for the bloody dogs outside. They always barking and going on. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to sort out Illustrator over here. See what's up, see what's going on. And hopefully things go to plan. Or at least I'm, I want them to go to plan. Um, I guess this is just part of the, the learning process with regards to live streaming and things so let's see uh here we go okay it seems that illustrator is back up and running fine let's see what's going on here okay let me bring guys back in okay here we go back in illustrator again we have it up so like i said i have to basically do that whole process over now with dragging in the image and everything so yeah guys as you saw i'm just gonna resize it to fit my canvas so yeah i actually started out on on adobe illustrator i was like i might as well i might as well learn like from the proper stuff because all the tutorial that i watched was mainly on adobe illustrator and on procreate so because i do not have any apple products um it doesn't make sense for me to use Procreate on the um, on the Apple products. I just drop the just drop the opacity. This is gonna be our bottom layer. Lock that. Create another layer, and now we're gonna create our brush. So our brush, we go here to where it says like the, the different brushes and things. We're gonna go to new brush, um, calligraphy. Okay. I'm not gonna pronounce that word. I can't so we're gonna go to that brush um, because i'm using the pen and it has a pressure basis we're gonna change this one to pressure um oh sorry why is it not giving me it's supposed to give me pressure i think it's not recognizing this thing again okay random we're gonna go for three and we are gonna go to three as well to give it some sort of basis so you just check over here so now i'm using the pen to do this we're gonna select that brush tool let's see what happens here when i start so obviously you want to zoom as close in as possible so that it just makes it a lot easier with regards to getting the lines perfect as you would want it i usually adjust my brush a bit so this is the setting that i usually use um you guys can make it smoother if you want if you want cleaner lines but that's just the the way i have it set up so I want to do that. I want to make this brush a bit thinner. I usually do it on 0 0.5. Ah, excuse me. So this is actually start wherever you want on this. Um, comes down to you, how you feel, where you want to start, where you're more comfortable starting. So as you guys may have noticed, I'm not doing a full call. I feel like a full call will take a bit too long to do. But this is just to start out to get used to it, see how long it's going to take and things. We're probably just going to do the line work tonight. But yeah guys this is usually how I start um, select our brush tool and then start with the line you guys can start wherever I feel like this brush is way too thin right now yep that is way too thin I can't even see the line yet let's go back up to this let's try and create a new one we can 
Jimmy Fisher, nope. It's not even the Fisher. It's... I, it just seems like things are not easy today. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna do a basic brush. I'm just gonna do the five point brown. Gonna do this, let's see what does this look like. So this is not pressure based, so it should give a typical like line. I think this, if things were just a bit easier this evening, make my life a bit, make my life a lot easier actually. <laughs> um okay we're gonna go for this one okay that, that that's a decent line i can work with this so unfortunately it seems like my pressure basis is not working and it's not picking up so i do apologize for the technical difficulties but at least we'll be able to draw so start here it's, obviously it doesn't have to be perfect i was i was trying to do like like make it more realistic i try and make it a bit more perfect but yeah guys this is usually how i start get this a bit better over here mm -hmm. okay. let's see what's what's going on in the chats <laughs> <laughs> nothing going on in the chats that's all good at least the stream is going well the stream is actually going well not having any major hiccups which i am grateful for so yeah guys we need just do... okay so let's continue from where we left off hopefully it's it's gonna be how it's supposed to be <laughs> Um, change to the brush, continue from there. It's just a bit too zoomed in for me right now. And see so yeah guys, I haven't done this in a while. So clearly it's not going as smooth as I may have wanted it to go. <laughs> but at least we, we're making progress here. We are able to actually get some work done, do some drawing, do some illustrations that's what i want i want to be able to share with you guys the experience the challenges and stuff that i go through i know what i've been doing now why it's giving me so many like little stuff so you guys i try and get like all the small fine details like the stove stove that's here I'm obviously gonna try and get the shadow. Even the bumper has like a little indentation here. So hopefully it does work out. Let's zoom way in. This is actually my original picture, so that's why the quality is like so good. It's usually not the best of qualities when I'm doing these things because people send me obviously just over Instagram and all of that, so just show you guys so this is basically how it looks so far it doesn't look impressive whatsoever but just give it time it's gonna it's gonna look way better as as we go forward um i hope you guys are enjoying the music if you guys can hear the music um it's just some music i've started getting into the guy's name is barnacle boy the artist <laughs> it's a pretty interesting name over there um yeah <laughs> but his, his music is really good i've been using quite a bit on a couple of my car videos because i feel like it fits in with 
the theme what what's trending right now in music for our videos so yeah guys let's do the boot line so it doesn't need to be perfect like it comes down to obviously how you do it obviously also we try and keep the lines as clean as possible i'll show you guys how to clean up the lines as well as we move on um but just to start off with try and make this try and make this a cool illustration this is the first time i'm actually doing an illustration on this car i haven't done actually i've done any illustrations in the past couple of months guys yo i've been slacking on my side but hey hopefully this with seeing you guys and the reaction and how you guys are actually taking it in it will definitely help motivate me to do a lot more because i i enjoy this it's therapy basically because i get to create i get to turn my own pictures into artwork instead of just having them printed and not really seen and used i feel like this gives a, a different level a different element of art to to what you would want man and these are like really cool i just enjoy creating them this is a bit different i actually took inspiration from doing this from um his name is kid kid tweet i think that's how you pronounce it so i've actually saw a couple of these pieces on um on instagram and i was like that's a really sick idea um how can i make it like something different for myself so i was like let me do a different style and go from there and it's gotten good feedback like really good feedback from everyone so i appreciate the support the feedback from everyone on like the artwork and stuff and just growing it from there man because that's basically what i want i want i want to be able to have it grow have it become something really cool like who wouldn't want the record to be made into tune but I think it's really cool. The cartoons I did of, of my Toyota like initially was since like it was bad. It didn't look good at all. I think it I made it my thumbnail on one of my on one of my videos. So if you guys can find that video you can see my very very first attempt at doing illustrations. And that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh the first couple of ones that I did was actually done with um with a mouse so i actually did it with just my regular mouse so i'll do another live stream where you guys can see how exactly the mouse is set up how i use my mouse to do like these illustrations so if you guys want to see more in-depth like tutorial videos you guys can go to chi world one two three four that's his youtube name that guy is really good with uh, the um, tutorials and things on how to do illustrations how to get into it um but yeah obviously this takes time this takes a lot of time um let's see let's see let's see let's move on to the lights so there's no real structure to this there's no real like you need to start here you need to do this you need to do that i guess it, it's like your own creative your your own creative freedom on where you want to start how you want to start what you feel you want to do first and things and how exactly you would want to illustrate it because this is technically an art form it's something that you use to express your own kind of style there's no rules i guess on on how to do it or how you guys want to express yourself <laughs> i feel like i'm literally just rambling here right now I'm probably gonna time thin these lines out as well a bit more. But as you guys can see, I'm trying to capture the detail in the lights. Um, let's see. It's the best I can do. <laughs> I promise, guys, on the next stream, I'm going to have all my stuff sorted way. My pen is actually set up correctly with the pressure sensitivity where i'm not struggling with illustrator or any of those funny things <laughs> um let's see what's going on in the chats 
<laughs> Yo, Jody. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Ovelia, thank you so much. I appreciate the, the feedback from you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes of you, you have um, parent responsibility, so obviously you need to <laughs> you need to be there for the baby. But hey, at least you you watching. I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone watching, joining in on the live stream. Um, yeah, I'm I'm having fun. Yeah, I'm having fun with this. Uh, but let's continue. So guys, you have to remember that this is just a for me. It's literally just something that is a hobby right now that i would like to grow with um we it can actually be something that um especially here uh, for us local guys on the side because i don't feel like there's many people that do this and with all the like cool cars like with how the car culture is like growing here in cape town i feel like these will be really cool to have, to have images of and things so hey yeah, guys i am enjoying this i'm enjoying the process i haven't done it in a while I don't know if you guys have picked up on that but i have not done this in a while i should probably do it more often which i am doing i am busy actually with a portrait piece um on a friend of mine ziona um which i will probably post up sunday as a video not as a live so that will be going up sunday because um I'm learning still with portrait work and things like that. So as time goes on and I actually get better at it, I will include more portrait work, make sure that that all of those things are up and running and sorted. Um, so that when I am doing it, it doesn't take too long, doesn't take too much of your time. And you guys can just sit back and enjoy the process because portrait work, doing portrait like illustrations is on another level. Like I thought car illustrations was was something really cool by doing portrait illustrations with capturing the people's facial features capturing the lines what would be a solid line what would be a not a solid line like things like that it's really cool really interesting to see because obviously everyone has a way of capturing things like that so yeah i have my own style everyone has their own style and I want to be able to show that off for you guys, man. I'm gonna try and do this stick. It's probably gonna be difficult to do, but I'm gonna try and do it. <laughs> I always try and do like the finer details, but I feel like the finer details is what like makes the, the image, man. Like the fact that you could actually capture like those details. I'm actually, doing this line, man. this line is just nonsense. Along with this line. So yeah guys, the fact that you can actually capture the finer details in like the drawings and in the artwork, it's I feel it's really cool because it gives that authenticity to to the work, it gives it authenticity to to the picture, to the car, to everything, every aspect I feel. So yeah guys. If I go quiet it means I'm concentrating, so I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep this active trying to keep this entertaining if you guys want to do a live way or if you guys want me to do a live way i just talk about the car culture here in and around cape town i've honestly been in the car scene for quite some time i haven't been public that of like in the car scene but i've been around i've had quite a couple of cars i've had yeah i've had quite a couple of cars i had um a rustler bucket or it was actually a full rustler super low big sunroof like a massive massive sunroof and that thing was insanely fast like it was literally faster than my 20 valve i honestly regret selling that uh, bucky because that thing was light and fuel it was a hit and that bucky was low static <laughs> very low scraped everywhere literally scraped everywhere but I enjoyed that little bucky. So if I ever get the opportunity again, I am definitely buying me another 160i Bantam or Rustler bucky. Because those things are freaking fast. And yeah, after that, I ended up um, swapping that bucky um, for a Toyota Conquest with a 20 valve swapping. Fun little car, red, red 20 valve. Traffic ops love pulling me over in that car because it's red. I know there's that whole thing of like. If you drive a red car, you are more likely to get pulled over. 
and I found that to be true. Even in my beta, my very first car was a 19, yeah, 1970, exactly 1970 VW Beetle was my first car, and that thing, yo, I got pulled over in that car a lot. That was my first car in high school, but that thing was fun. That car was low. That car was super low. If, if I find pictures on the next stream, I'm gonna put up the pictures of my car. Um, I think yeah, that will be a cool thing. I'm gonna talk about my car history, and I know a lot of people has had probably more cars than me, um, with being my age and stuff. But yeah, guys, I went through quite a lot of cars at the moment. There's about three three Mercedes standing in front of my house, like three old school Mercedes. So I have a the white W124 that we ended up cutting up for my silver one and we have a W124 wagon as well which is very very rare everyone is always stopping here asking me to sell it and I have to tell them no um, we have my uncle's uh, W202 with that's a C230 compressor um, that, that car has been a pain in my ass all the time just because of like the engine problems and now having to swap i have to actually get a whole new engine because that thing was got messed up with standing and stuff so busy with that as well and then we have my w124 as well we have my car that's slammed to the ground my car is actually a lot lower than the last time um i don't know if you guys saw in that mercedes video that i posted but my car is a lot lower um i'm not really driving my car around that much anymore so that's a good thing so not getting harassed by traffic cops and things for having a low car even though everything works on my car <laughs> but you guys know how it goes with traffic cops on our side let's move back down to the lights trying to get as much of these finer little details in as you guys can see this thing has like a plastic strip over here so we're obviously trying to get that in as well mm -mm -mm -mm. okay let's keep running this down here Yeah guys, like I said, let me know if you guys want me to do more different style live streams, if you guys want me to talk about car culture, if you guys are enjoying this, enjoying me, just busy talking about random things <laughs> while I'm doing this illustration work, because honestly I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying the process, it's really fun, it's something different, like completely different for me, this is not something I'm used to. I'm not a very public spoken person, even though I'm doing YouTube, I'm super shy when I have to go out to bar shows and actually have to film, like take out my camera and film, because it's like a big DSLR, it's a camera I'm using right now, then I have um, like a little mic on it, for me it, I feel like it's massive, but if you compare it to regular YouTube setups, it's not that big, it's a small mic, actually it's the one that I'm using right now. Um, and then that's on top of my camera and yeah I just feel like everyone can see what I'm doing especially here in my area say if I'm busy filming like here at home in the garage and people walk past they like stay stay at like what I'm doing they look at me and they're like what is this guy doing just like yes it's people I'm, I'm trying to do YouTube yeah trying to do YouTube <laughs> um but yeah, ah, oh, Yusuf, you had a beetle as well. <laughs> yeah, no, mine was heavy rat look. My first car was a heavy rat look beetle. That thing was rusty, rusty, rusty. Like, that car was the funniest thing ever to drive. When I got it first, like when my dad brought it, I was like, what is this? Because I had to basically, I worked. I worked, um, like, December holidays, you know, you guys get those those like casual jobs while you're busy working and stuff. And I worked and actually gave my mom them the money to buy my first car. I wasn't sure how much I had to give. I just gave 
like my salary and they were like okay we're gonna buy you a car so i was like okay cool honestly i was hoping for a mini because everyone was like wanted minis at that time and then i also kind of wanted a mini for a first car and it was just like i think it was a random ass day and my dad then like left and then they came back to win this red beetle and i'm like whose car is this because <laughs> this isn't my car <laughs> This is not the car I was expecting. Um, and my dad was like, this is your car. <laughs> and I just looked at him and I was like, what are you insane? But yeah, guys, I enjoyed every moment with that little Ray Beetle. That car was my very first car in the trip. Actually, yeah, in the trip, I got the car end of 2011. Uh, when I was grade 11, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, my trip, I went to school with that car. The first week into matric, I, me and my brother actually got pulled over in the car. The first week that school started and I like drove to school in the car, we got pulled over and I got to fine. But luckily the traffic cop didn't spell my name or surname right, so we basically got the fine squashed. And I was like, good shot, I don't have to pay money I don't have for a fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I had my learners from a very young age. I know you're not supposed to be driving on your learners back then, but hey, I had a car, I wanted to drive, I did it, <laughs> I risked it. <laughs> um, but yeah, a VW Beetle 1970, exactly, a 1600 single port was my very first car. It was a fun car, very fun little car. That, that will probably be another car I'd get, to be honest with you guys. There will be another car I'd definitely buy and just enjoy. That, car was, that was a fun little car. I think it was fast. That car I used to drive, drive through to Mitchell's Plane and I clocked that car at 160. That was the top speed that I could go, but every time I would just limit that car 160. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was, those were some fun days back in the day. Um, I mean, this was like almost 10 years ago, thinking about it now. It was, yeah, it's almost 10 years ago. I think next year will be 10 years since I had like my first car, which is a weird feeling to think about. A weird thing to think about, sorry. But yeah, guys, we are out here today doing a video on Mr. Keegan Shugler's car. Um, this car, I really enjoyed shooting this car. This, I think this was the first shoot I did with my new camera and stuff. On an actual car, this was... Hmm, I'm not sure, I think this was just before lockdown also came into effect here in South Africa. And that, that was just epic. Because we got to do a shoot. This was the first time I actually shot also in Athlone Industrial. I definitely plan on going back there again to do another shoot. Um... Oh, and tomorrow, I'm actually filming my Feature Friday tomorrow. I do apologize for missing the last two Fridays with regards to Feature Friday. But, yeah, I am actually filming tomorrow my Feature Friday, which will be um, Rudolph's car from Northside Crew, the Ranix that I told you guys about that you guys saw on yesterday's live stream. Actually doing a shoot tomorrow on that car nice and early. Looking forward to it, like... Because the car has gone through quite a bit of a change. Um, we had the car resprayed. Had a lot of the black trim deleted and things as well. So the car has gone through quite a bit. Looks really nice with the new wheels as well. Like the car looks really, really nice with the new wheels. So... Probably fix the top one as well. This is the only irritating part of doing this. When things are not going to plan, it's very irritating. Um, guys, doing white cars are really difficult. I think I said it yesterday, but like actually doing illustrations of white cars are really, really difficult. I wish they were a bit easy, but they, they're not at all. Like, these, these things are really difficult. It's only difficult because of like the the fact that you need to get the shadows and all of those things in and it won't be white when you do the illustration so but you will have to make the gray in such a way that it looks like a white close as possible to looking white instead of looking gray 
which it's harder than you you might think it is but yeah guys in the comments whoever's in the comments now let me know what your first car was we both know or we know now that mine and yusuf um myself and yusuf had bw beetles oh guys yusuf has a youtube channel as well please check that out um probably one of the funniest youtubers here um, especially when when he's at like car events and people are just being insane <laughs> he's, he's definitely a hype man he's gonna get you to do a burnout <laughs> out his channel's name is yusuf peterson i usually link it i linked it in my last video where we were together with mercedes meetup um and yeah guys just check out his channel really cool uh, also does a lot of car content um he made it actually recently over a thousand subs so big um and yeah guys it's <laughs> it's it's been cool i've met a lot of new new people made a lot of new friends as well um over this past few months like actually over this past few months i've made quite a lot of friends like more than more than I've, I've ever had before um just for them to be part of like the feature friday trying to get them to to actually be open to me doing a, a little shoot on the car because a lot of guys i've uh, i've experience of this we approach guys and they're like nah the car isn't ready they still have to do this and that on the car but i'm like yo guys just let's do it man let's make it happen <laughs> it's it's create because that's you the way your car looks now like that's the reason why i'm approaching you because your car looks sick and i want to do pictures and videos on it i mean is it every day that you get approached by a photographer and like yo i want to do like a feature on your car like obviously not way i'm be talking to you that's not my style i'm not about the whole sit down talk to the owner kind of thing um, that's not the type of videos i want to create here on my channel um there are other channels other local channels that do really well like um oem plus cape town that guy is doing some insane work he is killing it with um with his features like that yellow e36 i didn't even know there was a car like that here <laughs> No, there was a call like that yeah so that guy's finding some insane balls hopefully gonna be working or collaborating with him pretty soon um especially on my car i would love to do something like that on my car give you guys the breakdown on we have come with that car how things have been with after me getting rear-ended by a drunk driver and where i want to go next with the car so definitely want to be able to be able to give you guys a bit more of the in-depth background story into why i chose that specific model mercedes as well because i always wanted a mercedes and my goal for last year was like to buy a mercedes i was like i need to own a mercedes before the end of this year or end of last year and i achieved that goal kind of <laughs> um but now i i achieved that goal with, with buying this w124 mercedes a lot of people came up to me and were like that's actually a really good buy um those are right now super cheap which i don't know it's a lot of car for the money so yeah guys if you're looking for a car that is not too bad on maintenance and very reliable and you guys want something a bit more luxury i'd say look at getting yourself a, a nice one to four mercedes <laughs> um they are very big cars it's not the lightest on petrol to be honest with you guys not the lightest whatsoever on fuel but hey it's it's a very comfortable car to drive the car is like a lot of little tricks and stuff man like with uh, the single wiper how that whole mechanism works with the um with all the the switches and stuff my car is my car has so many switches inside of it it's insane yeah guys 
I'm now going to take the image out at the back away and you guys can see how far I've got. Let's see. It's not too bad. Not too bad. It's it's looking like something. It's, it's definitely looking like you know this is a Toyota. <laughs> but it's not too bad. We, we're getting there. We're making progress. So when I actually do the color, I... I don't use the, the background image because I want to try and make it look like my own sort of illustration, my own sort of artwork and then yeah, just just be just be the be creative, make it your own. Um let's see this. What's going on here in the chats? Um <laughs> now nah, you're so I, I wish I wish I could could use a, a, a little camera <laughs> like I, I really wish I could honestly if 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 the camera was a bit better that like if I could get like a good quality small camera I would I would make my life a lot easier but I actually enjoy shooting on the DSLR I love doing my videos on it and if you guys want to know what camera I'm using I'm actually using a Canon 200 I'm using it as a webcam or as a, a streaming cam right now and yeah guys <laughs> this this camera is really cool um yes yusuf you are definitely definitely the um the, the hype man <laughs> especially like you guys have to hang out with yusuf he's a, a really cool genuine guy just makes you laugh and smile and yeah I, i'm so glad that i met him i actually got into trouble there was one day we um we hung out and um he was working night shift and i basically ended up staying there the entire night at his workplace <laughs> it was very really funny but that was like deep in lockdown i think that was level five lockdown or level four lockdown some stupid level like that that we were in so yeah it was it was very really funny um jody yes i'm definitely i'm definitely doing his um red score um what's how to do yeah that's true everyone in Northside crew all the cars are super clean super neat like those guys take care of the cars everything is done to the key with this stuff um but yeah guys thank you so much Jody, for, for your feedback though i really enjoyed also doing the shoot with you um doing the scenes as well talking to you finding out your bone stuff i wish i could do more videos like that but i don't feel like i'm ready to do that sort of content just yet but hey, I'm enjoying this. Hope you guys are enjoying this live stream as well. I think I'm just gonna do the, the line work for tonight. And then I'll probably do again tomorrow night with regards to doing the colors and stuff. I don't know, let's see. If I'm gonna be streaming on a regular basis, might as well keep doing it so that I can basically learn from my mistakes, man. Learn from what I need to do and how I need to get better at this. So let's get back to it um, yeah. so I am gonna actually do another video um, on this way everything is time-lapsed so we'll do another video on, on this so okay not on this specific thing um, when I do the coloring I will upload the video where I do that um, I'll do a screen record on it because I am not screen recording this right now because i'm just an idiot <laughs> uh, but definitely when i'm gonna start with the colors and stuff i'm definitely gonna screen record it so that i know i can just do like a, a shorter version of this video because i'm pretty sure not everyone is gonna watch the full hour hour length of this of this stream i know i don't when i watch live streams i usually skip through it so I just want to thank everyone again that is watching, that is streaming this, that is enjoying the sound of my voice. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the sound of my voice. <laughs> uh, you guys like my face. <laughs> and yeah, I'm I'm super like grateful that I'm able to do this, that I'm able to create like this sort of content. Um, I mean, last year I was I wasn't nowhere near creating content like this. I wasn't. I wasn't even thinking of creating content like this. This was something that was like, for me, it's like I always looked up to other YouTubers and I was like, yo, those people are on another level. I don't see, 
how somebody like from from Issa you can yeah I didn't see how sorry about that um yeah I felt like I, I couldn't see like people from from here doing things like this or anything similar to this because I haven't seen any local people do it and yeah I am trying to to do it trying to bring things that we usually only see in the states to outside of the world but yeah guys I'm enjoying this enjoying this process let's get this exhaust looking tasty <laughs> I hope you guys are actually enjoying like seeing the whole process because it's a pretty long process. There's quite a bit to go through on this, on how I created, on how it's created. Um, a lot of people don't really know what goes into these illustrations, so I'm trying to show you guys what actually goes into it and why people usually ask a lot more for doing this sort of artwork. Because it takes a lot of time and as you guys know time time is money to a lot of people so yeah i'm just doing this because i want to do it i want to share the experience with you guys i'm not sure if i want to pull a line through here but let's pull a line through here as well show the bottom floor. yeah i think that's fine I do apologize for the, the network again. The network is being really crappy. I'm trying my best to figure out a solution. I'm watching YouTube videos on a regular on what I can do to make sure that my my signal for the stream is like at its best. I'm gonna be trying a couple of tricks out tomorrow to see if it actually helps with the stream. Um, I'll probably do like a private stream to sort all of that kind of stuff out. yeah i need to stop saying but yeah guys i really need to stop you have to get you have to see when i'm editing my videos and stuff how many like things i have to take out because it's it's just really bad of me saying yeah okay good your things like that uh it's it's the funniest thing when i'm busy editing and there's like bloopers and i know these bloopers because there's certain things that are that i would say and then I would get tongue tied and just cut it out. But because I really I took like a good take for the first half of that, I don't really want to cut it completely out. So <laughs> it's like the those sorts of struggles that we have to deal with. There's quite a lot that goes into doing YouTube. Like more than more than you would usually think. Can't see the rest of that line, so I'm definitely not gonna try and Oops. Try and draw that line if I can't see it. It's not gonna make any sense. Okay. No, you can actually see. Let's, let's fix it. Let's fix it. That was like st straight up not working. Let's just do this. Boom, bang. Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks better. That looks much better, I guess. Guys, I'm a massive Toyota fan. Like, massive. Um, that great Toyota that you guys see in my videos. That Toyota we actually have for 22 years, like my dad's. That is a 1994 Toyota Corolla A92. Did have a beam swap. It is actually going to get a 20 valve swap in it now. Um, my end goal is to get actually do a 16 valve um, turbo bolt in it because I've always wanted a boosted car. Never owned a boosted car, so I was like, why didn't I just bolt one? So. I am doing a 20 valve swap in the car in the meantime so that I can get the car driving and then once the car is driving I am going to invest in a or 
yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do a 16 ball full age um full ag ze um bolt so i have most of the parts already stored so i have a block i have rods pistons um what i actually need is a new crank because the crank that i had is messed up and i need a small port i think it's a small port i'm not sure if anyone in the comments is a Toyota guy, um, please let me know. Should I go small port or big port for doing a turbo bolt? Because um, I know there's a difference in in the, the, the setup of the motor and stuff. So, yeah, I obviously want to run some decent power, but I would also like to enjoy the car. Man. I wouldn't want to make like stupid power and then I can't drive the car on the road. Um, the whole point of of that car of the Toyota initially was to be like my daily my daily like fast race kind of car but now that i have the mercedes it's like why don't i just pull back into like a track car but i also want to be able to drive it on the street and not just smoke a couple of g7s you know <laughs> get a couple of yo that was the best part when i had the beams in nobody really knew there was a beams in because the car wasn't like the best looking car so it's like you get your your VTEC guys and you get your your car six car seven guys come for next to you and just like okay you guys wanna wanna just do a quick mexico pull there <laughs> and the look on their face when you actually pull away like in second gear like you actually start pulling away from them it's the funniest thing ever and because okay my car was kind of loud but i put a very thin exhaust on the car so even that like hid the fact that there was a 3 SGE beam swap in the car the car was super fast i think the most power that car ever made at one point was about close to 160 kilowatts on the stock stock head um but then obviously as time went by and with the car being driven every day it wasn't it didn't make sense to to keep the car at that power man so basically just had the the full or i rebuilt the full motor on it and had the head done over with regards to valve stem seals but um valve guides all of that just had the head was nice and fresh and yeah then everything just went to hell with the car standing the car being broken into and them stealing my ecu out of the car and that was the main reason why that car stood for as long as it did because my ecu actually got stolen out of the car and that was a big irritation because if you guys know beams is not the cheapest setup to do it costs quite a bit of money to do and then like you have idiots coming and breaking into your cars and and stealing your your management like irritating it. <laughs> but yeah ended up buying a new ecu and as you guys know i actually sold my beams um, i sold my entire setup to a really cool guy zade um that guy knows his his beams he knows it in and out he's been through all the trials and tribulations that i've been through as well and yeah he's, he's just a really cool guy you know work and stuff is just losing its mind yeah okay. it's really really just losing its mind yeah. and it, it's telling me my network is fine on my phone and hey guys this thing this thing is just being awesome <laughs> but let's see what's going on in the chats uh Nathan, I have no idea how to pronounce your first name, but thank you so much. <laughs> um, appreciate it. Where do I see myself in the next five years? So, yeah, the where I see myself in the next five years, it's probably very similar to... How can I say? To the level where the guy that i look up to is dustin williams um i've been watching that guy's channel from very early from before he even hit like 10k subs and he is somebody that that i've been watching and really been like <laughs> somebody that i've really been looking up to with where he started 
how we grew his channel, how we grew his business, and um, that is somewhere where I, I would like to see myself in five years is where I'm actually doing more concurrent builds on the channel, where I'm doing um, stuff that I want to do, man, and growing my brand, growing my business slowly but surely, not only on YouTube but other platforms as well, man. Uh, but in five years, I do see myself hopefully, hopefully getting getting to the point where i am consistently uploading where i have sick ass bold sick ass cars going on the channel showing more of not only cape town but south africa's car culture and growing from there man growing with with other youtubers growing with other local guys um getting in contact with shops and just doing that sort of content and also getting much better with my illustrations my illustrations is something i'd really love to to get onto another level with um so with this i do plan on doing it on a more regular basis because not only will that help me with um with with getting experience with doing this but it will actually help me hone my skills it will help me to to actually have a reason to invest into better equipment better gear because it's pointless i'm, I'm investing into better gear and i'm not um how can I say? I'm not actually generating any sort of income or from it, man. It has to pay for itself as well. So slowly but surely, I, I am gonna invest in other gear. I am gonna invest in in more equipment, in better equipment to make this way better, this whole experience a lot better. And yeah, so in five years, I do see myself having my all my my, my business basically established, um, having some sick ass balls, having my own place where. I'm not bothering my parents and stuff because my mom really loses her mind with me sometimes when I'm playing with cars late at night. And yeah, I, I'd really want to continue with this YouTube, continue growing the community, growing with everyone that's that's supporting me and watching, and just yeah, being being successful and helping own success with being able to create some sort of inspiration from my side for others. So yeah. Thank you so much for that question. I, I really appreciate it. I haven't had to think about that question or I've had to think about that in a very long time. So yeah, it was, I, I appreciate that question so much. Um, but yeah, the guys, uh, <laughs> you said was being freak funny in the comments right now. <laughs> guys, you didn't check that out, but let's get back to it. Um, honestly guys, the, the wheels is, is one of the harder things to do because there's so much detail in it there is so so much detail in these wheels especially these ones these are actually really cool um it was i think this is the only car that i've ever seen with this wheel on and yeah <laughs> this this wheel is insane like you guys can see all the little stuff so i'm gonna get literally every one well, can get every detail in um with regards to this wheel because I feel like it's worth it. Oops. Really made a mistake. Already made a mistake. Yeah. So yeah guys. I want to thank everyone for interacting. In the comments. Interacting in the chat. Um, watching the video. Supporting. And watching me create. Uh, this like. It's not something you, you can do. Or she on a daily basis. But I am grateful that I have uh, the means and opportunity to do that right now with everyone in the with everyone watching the stream right now so yeah guys i am i'm truly truly very very grateful and appreciative of everyone that has been supporting not only me but my channel as well damn i haven't enough i haven't been like the most consistent guy on youtube I'm sure if I was a bit more consistent, especially with the with the TLT, if I was a bit more consistent with those sorts of uploads, I'd probably be further along with regards to the the, the growth and the size of the community right now on the channel. But honestly, I'm just enjoying the process, enjoying creating these videos, enjoying interacting with everyone, and I want to put out content that. I back on five years from now and be like yo that's where i started it's not too bad hopefully it, it inspires other people to do the same to start their own youtube channel 
and just grow from there man because i feel like youtube is it's a really cool platform to not only share like business stuff but share your experiences it's something that, that you can hold so that in say in the future say 10 years from now you can look back at it and be like that's where i was like look at where i am now you can just be grateful from where you started so that that's that's what i'm looking at youtube at so yeah how i look at youtube right now it's basically me documenting everything that i go through um, in life right now with my cause i do want to include a bit more like personal content with day-to-day -day life um, with doing like t-shirts how i go about getting t-shirts done um how i'm planning to to grow like my illustration thing with having like really cool custom t-shirts that is it's very can i say local cape town based so i do want to include more of that sort of content i am going to include some photography content so say if i'm out there doing like a tattoo shoot or if i'm doing like a portrait shoot i'm just going to make sure um the model is okay with me recording like doing youtube videos like they okay with it have the permission obviously but i want to include that sort of content and like the the one youtuber that i follow from um from australia uh north borders i think his name is michael as well <laughs> um but yeah i've been watching his videos and he's really been inspiring me to want to create more more photography related content man i enjoy taking photos i enjoy um editing them i enjoy the whole process and so if i can start doing more of that and share it with you guys then i don't see why not let's see what's going on here with this bloody thing okay we're back up yeah guys as you can see we have quite a bit going on here in this bloody wheel um that's the thing with these complicated drones they take almost just as long to do as it would be to do the uh, like the illustration itself <laughs> but i hope you guys are enjoying this enjoying the conversation i'm enjoying like talking to you guys and tapping i mean it is covid still in a lot of places so i can't interact with you in person this is the next best thing i feel is that we can interact this way can talk to you guys and have conversations involve a relationship from you man. so yeah guys these wheels are super complicated so much like little details inside of them i can tell you guys now that to do the color on this thing is going to be a mean it's gonna be a real pain to do oh and i've also figured out how to do like a chrome effect so hopefully when i do the color you guys see it will actually seem like a full chrome effect to it <laughs> ah my network what's happening with the network let me see what I can do. Whoops. What I can do with my work. Why is it fighting me right now? Nope. That made things worse. Okay. Guys, if you have any tips or tricks on how to get the best out of my internet speed, I'm using my cell phone as a hotspot. Um, we don't have fiber in our area yet, so it's kind of crappy that we don't have fiber in our area. It helps me a lot with network speed and stuff. But we don't, so I am just using my cell phone's LTE to get some good, some good internet speeds. Because Wi-Fi that I'm using doesn't allow me to have the recommended internet speeds for streaming on YouTube. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait almost forgot almost forgot the final final details see the cool things make a, make a big difference 
you know how this ends up. Okay, let's see how far we are, what we still need to do. Boom, bam, whoa. Actually, it looks really cool. I'm impressed. <laughs> I am impressed. Okay, let's do this mud flap. Yeah, guys, the wheels are, are honestly like one of the, the, the main reasons to this whole thing. So, yeah, this, this, the wheels are. are like the main main thing let's go let's go back to the comments see what everyone is saying what's going on uh i'm gonna go with i'm gonna i'm gonna trust yusuf i'm gonna think luigi <laughs> um let's see let's see let's see it's odd yes I, I i would love to to do some some sr content i actually haven't done any sort of missing content on my thing yet i haven't found a good like sr to do or good like missing to actually feature if if you know of anyone that has a a nice 240 or something that that would want to be featured please let me know i would be down to actually feature them on on my channel um I do like I want to try and get a variety of people man. Right now it's mainly Toyota guys that I have because I know a lot of Toyota guys. In my area it's full of Toyota guys. So like Alistair from Rev92 is he's literally around the corner. I can walk to his house. <laughs> so even Keegan, Keegan stays also around the corner. I've walked to his place, he's walked to my place also a couple of times. So yeah, I am gonna be doing a update shoot on this car. Uh this car is and yeah um luigi with regards to the setup i use for my beetle i use the 200d with the kick lens um no fancy stuff i used to have some really cool lenses but i got rid of them like an idiot so yeah i wish i didn't but i did i actually needed to because that was when they knocked my car and i needed some cap um get my car sorted uh, no, they actually sold my my Sigma lens when I bought my car. I needed cash to to buy my car and get like a couple of stuff sorted for the new car. Because when I bought it, my car was super high, and we needed to drop it like ASAP. <laughs> so yeah, the setup I use for all my videos, um, be it my vlogs or B-roll, is my Canon 200D with the kit lens, the 18 to 55 STM. It's a IS, so it's image stabilized lens. Um, I don't have any gimbals, I don't have any sort of stabilizing thing, it's all handheld. Um, I should probably get me a gimbal, but gimbals cost quite a bit of money. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the setup I use for all my videos. Um, I will definitely pull through to Mama's I I will definitely do that. Um, hit me up on Instagram or on Facebook. Um, I'm actually going pretty soon to go and do a shoot there but i'll definitely come through to mom's b i bought the 20 valve then mom's b i sold my bucky also or well, swapped the bucky for the 20 valve out there in mom's b and yeah that 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 was an interesting night because my bucky was super low i'll definitely show you guys pictures of my cars in the next stream but my bucky was super low and we drove through to mom's b and we drove in the farm and myself and my friend called and we actually got stuck in the sand like on the farm because of how low my bucket was on another level that was, that was super intense that night so i'll definitely make a plan to go through to mama's brief like i said i want to start getting out to other places in not only cape town or western cape but in south africa see if i can get a couple of shoots out in joburg meet up with the guys that side and yeah just grow grow a relationship man get, get to know the people inside and outside of, of cape town and the western cape what the hell network i should have more than enough to argue to be streaming this long um let's see okay it's, it's back back up and running now let's see hopefully it, it works hopefully um but yeah guys i hope you are enjoying the stream i do apologize and the bloody network just giving me troubles left right and center yeah what's going on here okay
Okay, so let's do this mud flap. I feel like the mud flap will, will give a really cool contrast to everything. Even though it's black. Nope, not happy with that. So hey guys, I hope you, you guys think that the illustration is looking cool so far. This is literally just the line work. I think I'm going to do like the, the black work as well in it. Like where I'm pulling out um, the, the dark shadows and things like that on this thing. Let's zoom out, see what's up here. Okay, so I'm just going to line the shadow here quick. work and stuff I need to seems fine I don't know maybe I need to click my phone here maybe that will help with network and stuff hopefully it does pretty disappointing in my network right now but yeah guys like I said I hope you are enjoying the stream I hope you're enjoying the creative process happening here can tell you now i am enjoying this very much i haven't done this in a while it's like i haven't done this in months yeah i haven't done this in months it's mainly because i've been procrastinating <laughs> like an idiot but then again it was locked down that's no excuse <laughs> i like how I'm, I'm trying to give excuses you know but i'm also telling myself that is no excuse for trying to give an excuse i was just lazy um, I wasn't really getting people interested in having illustrations done of, done of the cards but then again I wasn't really advertising the fact that you'll know, get your, your card done in a really cool illustration like cartoon effect and I still I actually still have people like asking me on, on or commenting on my, my illustrations they're like yo what app do you use and i'm like it's not an app guys i am actually drawing out each and every detail i will color each and every detail of i do everything myself But hopefully when I do portrait a portrait video, you guys will see like this seems like there's a lot of like little details going into it. It's nothing compared to like a portrait thing. A portrait illustration is on another level of details. But that details is like mainly shadows and like contrasting points on your face with regards to like the finer details man they wouldn't be harsh lines that that's the the biggest thing that gets me on on doing those sorts of illustration but it, it literally kicks my ass <laughs> okay. here guys another thing if i'm busy with illustrations i can do like um random things like i can't hear the music playing I don't know what is playing right now. All I know is it's a playlist that is playing from YouTube Music. Um, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the music. I hope so. I really hope you guys are enjoying the music. Nonsense. I mean, I, I hear in the comments like, this is what I was playing this year. A whole lot of nonsense on, on the stream. <laughs> But yeah guys you don't have to get like all the fine details in the sorts of things like if it comes down to what you want to show what you want to give and yeah man it's a it's a fun process it's a really a really fun process to to be a part of let's see i do about all the details there I think I should do this line as well, you guys. Yeah, let, let, let me do that line as well. We have the bottom. You guys can see. 
is button as well. And I'm not gonna do that line. That line I think that I'll do as well, I'm not gonna pull another odd line do. Whoops. <laughs> What the hell? It's in the blue, it's kind of blue. Just some final details for you guys. Trying to... Really make this something else okay let's see here how are we looking so far oh 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 that's looking tasty can you guys agree this thing is looking tasty this is how far we got clearly i have to put in a couple more lines yes i definitely have to put in a couple more lines So now you see with, with lines like these, man, I'm not sure if I would want to make those like a hard line. Mm. I'm not sure. Not sure. Nah, I think I'm, I'm not going to make that a hard line. I think I'm going to be like these. Not going to make it a hard line. Let's see what's happening out in the comments. <sighs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> it seems like Yusuf and Luigi is taking over the comments over here right now. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, the setup I use is very basic. I don't need a lot. Oh, I don't like having a lot of gear. I used to have a steady cam, like one of those cheap steady cams that you. It's like a Chinese make of it. <laughs> um, that's what I used to have. And I was like, nah, let me, let me get something else and i ended up just selling that to a guy i think he also came from honestly i don't remember what the name was but he came to buy it basically from me and ever since then it's been it's been like yeah handheld stuff all the way the weddings that i've done has been handheld and i feel like it gives this a bit more of a natural look to it so yeah i appreciate i really appreciate the feedback um yeah i i feel like you know guys when when i did this now i didn't think to still add the description i'm gonna definitely change the the title name and stuff as well because obviously i was just an idiot with not doing that i didn't think to eat so <laughs> yeah let's jump back into the illustration i just want to check if there is any other details that i might that i may have missed let's see i'm gonna get this also here Really cool. it gives it a, a different sort of feel and look to this whole piece of art that we are basically creating there right now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull these lines through. So I, I'm gonna do a couple of wait, that is that is not acceptable whatsoever. That's fine. <laughs> Um, guys, I, I honestly don't know why it's not pulling the line from all the way, but hey. I'm not going to complain. As I can tell you now, now for me to do like these stickers is gonna be a pain in my ass. Because I have to really zoom up and do the stickers. I'm not going to do this um dot sticker because I don't think it's 
a necessity right now. But we nearly done here with the with the stream. I do appreciate everyone watching, everyone that has watched it, everyone that I watched it as soon as I came up. Appreciate you guys so so much um, for taking the time out to watch everything, to watch my stream, to see what I'm doing, my creative process that I follow. And yeah, it just it really means a lot guys. Like it really, really means a lot. I don't know why I did the accent right now. I don't know what the accent is. But yeah guys let me know should i maybe do like game stream <laughs> i i'm a big car game fan i'm a big forza fan i do not have an xbox one so i have the old forza i think i have the old um, forza horizon one which is for me i feel probably the best one that was ever done just because of the storyline and i'm so i'm somebody i like a good story I like a, a, something that, that, that makes you feel like you, you progress through it, man. So, yeah, guys, I let me know should I do game streaming as well? <laughs> Would you guys be down to watch some game streaming from my side? And yeah, I need to work, guys. I, I really, really need to do something about it. But I think I am going to stop here. So this is what it looks like right now. Boom. Quite quite a lot of detail in it. Oh, sorry. As you guys can see, there is quite a lot of detail. These wheels are super detailed. Um the reason why I did this line here at the bottom is because I'm actually going to black out everything. So I'm going to make all of this black. Um, I will do it in the next video. I don't think I'm gonna do the colors separately. I think I'll, I'll stream again tomorrow. Do, do the colors, do the blacks, do the shading. You guys can see what goes into it. How I do the stickers in the windows as well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. Um, I've been recording for, or I've been streaming for about an hour and a half now. So yeah, guys. <laughs> I just want to thank you so so much for coming out taking the time to to watch my stream again I've been saying I thank you so so much um, just looking in the, the, the chat um, I see Keegan thank you so much Keegan for the, the feedback you are seeing this take shape um, yeah <laughs> um, I've been promising Keegan for quite some time now that I was going to do uh, do an illustration of his car. This I'm definitely gonna have printed out because I don't know, it looks so so cool. Like I actually love it. <laughs> this is gonna be so sick to actually turn into an illustration. But yeah guys, you saw the process on how I start. Um I'm definitely gonna sort out my bloody setup here at home. This thing has been I'm I'm still learning. I'm learning what I should have ready, what I should make sure that it's running well and just yeah man let's see what what the music is playing right now so yeah guys i just want to thank you so so much for for watching today's illustration live stream um yeah <laughs> it's been really cool uh, really enjoying the the interaction in the chat uh, really enjoying like the feedback I was getting from everyone and yeah man it, it, it makes me feel really good <laughs> like I'm be honest it makes me feel really good that there are actually people watching the, the, the live stream seeing what is going on with the whole the like, bloody beetle here um, but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching um, I appreciate you guys for coming out taking the time to see the whole creative process let me go just quickly back into it so this is where we're stopping for um this is where we're stopping for today so this is the original image that we are working from this is my image that i took really enjoyed the shoot so so much and this is where we are so far with the illustration so you guys will see tomorrow when i am doing the color and black work that i won't even refer to the, the image under it it's all gonna go off from my own eyes so i will have the second image up on my second screen over here 
and I will refer all from there. Okay, this shit. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> right. So yeah, guys, I will refer to my second screen with regards to doing colors, doing shadows, doing all of that. I'll look at that screen as that will have like the reference picture or the original picture on it. So yeah, guys, um, this is how far we we getting for tonight. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to call it here. Um, thank you so much for everyone that has been watching, that has been interacting. That has just been showing showing support, showing love in, in the comments, in the chats. And yeah, I, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So I will see you guys. Please, if you enjoyed this, give a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't enjoyed this live stream and want to see more, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. So stay safe out there.